Hey everybody, what's going on? Dustin here with another NASCAR diecast review. And today, well, we are looking at another Kyle Larson diecast. But for the first time ever, we're actually reviewing a, a Kyle Larson race truck. And to be honest, I couldn't be more happier to, to do it. Do a Kyle Larson review when he's not in a NASCAR Cup Series car. This is his uh, Rich Mar Flores number 44. Chevy Silverado from Nice Motorsports. Now, not only we're also reviewing a race truck for the first time that he drove, but also it's also autographed as well. Now, I couldn't be more happier to get an uh, Get an autograph from our ranking NASCAR Cup Series champion. Whether you like him or not, whether you canceled him or not. Now, a little backstory about uh, Kyle Larson. I'm sure y'all remembered what happened when he had dropped that. Uh, be honest, I don't like saying it. It's like one of the worst words you can ever. Uh, Call somebody with an existence. But I'm sure y'all saw the video. And then you try to apologize. Then you just got. And the bad side. The baddest side effect was. Get suspended by NASCAR. Gets fired from Chip Ganassi Racing. Major sponsor drop. Like. McDonald's has won. Crat One Bank is another one and just keeps going on going and going. Had to take sensitivity training. But some guy out there out there so delusional, so mad won't stop at nothing. I think y'all know who I'm talking about and iRacing doesn't do anything about it. It's like, nope, nothing to see here. I'm sure y'all know who I'm talking about. And he lives in the state of Georgia. And if you have not seen that Austin Oganowski video of him recording this guy's a harassment towards him, you'll know who I'm talking about. But anyway, I'm not going to get any more into it. I don't want to get involved. I don't want him targeting me and tar and have him harass. Me. He already have harassed Dave Moody a few times, just so recently. I don't know if y'all heard it or not. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm just going to get to it. Alright, this is uh, Kyle Larson's Nice Motorsports number 44 from R Rich Mar Florist Racing. Nice truck. It's a nice truck. It's also autographed as well. You can see the little certificate of authenticity. Here it is up here. Number 44, Richmar Flores slash Plan B Sales. Number 2021, Silverado. And it's autographed. And there's 432 of these die-cast trucks are made. So let's get right on to it. Oh, before we forget here, here's the uh, card. It's a special autograph edition. This card designates that the featured limited autograph series 124 scale die-cast replica Includes the actual signature of driver Kyle Larson. Now, speaking of Larson, since we're actually on that, y'all know there. Now, some of you have not heard, but a boss man for uh, for a Plan B sales and Circle B diecast. He's uh his name is Brent Powell. You know, if y'all don't know who he is, he runs and operates Plan B sales and Circle B diecasts. He actually stood up for Kyle Larson, even though he did not condone the comments that he made. He actually stood by him. And Kyle Larson never had any ill intentions of hatred in his heart to target anybody. So I'm, I'm going to go go ahead and get off that. I'm going to drop it right there. And I'm just going to get to this review. Here's the uh, the front of the truck. It's a Chevy Silverado. We got the number 44 right here. We got Nice Motorsports, the Silverado, the Chevrolet Bowtie. 
the uh, 2021 front end look to it. Up on the hood, we got Rich Mar Forest Racing. Now, the one thing Lionel needs to go back to, well, more likely Action Race Collect Bulls, is the opening hood. And have like a uh, engine in there. I understand it costs cost a lot and a lot of resources to do it. Here we are up on the windshield. We have the Camping World banner up here. And we also have Kyle Larson's authenticated autograph. The real thing. Now, it's hip for for autographs. Like if you're buying autograph, autograph memorabilia off online, be careful of where you get where you get it from. Ask the seller, is this the real thing? And ask them if they can provide proof. You know, back them up. And they'll back you up on it. Even though I won't sell this, guess what? I always keep this in there. As proof. We have number 44 up here. We also have that little uh, roof antenna. Roof dome. We also have that one lone roof flap up there. Now the bed. No, excuse me. The side of the truck. What we got here. We have a Sunoco down here. We have Simpson belts up here. We have a Goodyear racing tire. This is the uh, specialized dirt track tire. Just like we uh, reviewed in the last one with uh, Kyle Larson's Galaxy car. If you have not seen that review, it is amazing. We also have Goodyear up here. We have NASCAR Camper World Truck Series over here. More contingency sponsors over here. NASCAR Race Truck. Now, usually it's up here, but this is like way too thin for this decal to be on there. We got Mobile One, ARP. I'm going to move it in closer so that way y'all can see it. Celdine Valve Train. Now, this one, I got no idea. That one looks brand new. Caliso Coatings. Tilton. Holly EFI. Comatic. I also have number 44 right here. Up on the B pillar, we got Chevrolet. Nice Motorsports. K&N Filters. Mechanics wear. This one's a little bit small, so I'm just going to zoom in. Alright, I'm going to... Quality Roof Seamers Incorporated. That's what it is. It's just real hard to see. See, I had to zoom in all the way with the camera. Now, I really didn't move the camera. I know I'm right now moving it right now. We got CRC, which is that penetrating fluid. We have the uh, Eagle Globe anchor down here, which is the uh, United States Marine logo. We got Circle B diecast down here. Mobile One. We have Rich Mar Flores. And also the uh, Circle B diecast again over here. Now, I don't know if you can actually notice this, but on here we have the little Circle B, B logo, so you can actually see it real good, too. If you're actually uh, paying attention, I really didn't notice it, but now I noticed it. And I just uh, zoomed in so that way y'all can see it. Sorry for this pads fit with the camera. And we have a, a big Circle B diecast on the back. Now, if you really want to see all the Circle B diecast cars I did re reviews of, there is a playlist in there that is dedicated to that. That's the uh, diecast ta diecast distribution that, I, that I'm an affiliate with. And check it out. Help for those reviews. We also have CRC up on here on the uh, to the toenail cover. That's what it is. Larson's name on the back of the uh, the back windshield, back glass is what I call it. We got these uh, pillar frames. Ooh, hiccup. We got Chevrolet. We also got the uh, Quality Roof Seamers Incorporated on here as well. 
I also forgot about the uh, American ethanol fuel intake right here. It's on the passengers, not pass, sorry, the driver's side. I'm not drunk. And the other side's the same as the other. Well, the right side's the same as the left. And you can actually look inside, and you can actually see... Uh, Now, trucks usually don't have, like, a side window. But for short tracks, they never have a side window. So, for this one, you can just uh, look inside. Not bad view inside. Under here, we have the uh, Made in China. We also have the uh, the engine, the uh, the steering components. We got the cars. You can actually see a little bit of that radiator fan too. I never noticed that. You got see uh, oh man, the exhaust. We also have transmission, the drive shaft, rear differential, and also the uh, the direct axle track bar track bar over here. Now the gas tank right here. Has the die cast identification number. According to this, we have a number 175. I have the 400 plus that are made. Oops. They got scratched. Now, the Goodyear Eagle tires, just like I said, completely different. These are treaded for dirt track use only. It's really, really awesome. Really love the uh, dirt track. You really starting to love the uh, dirt tra track stuff that has been coming in. And then Kyle Larson did race this in the uh, truck series race. Now, what was so unusual? They raced it on Saturday. And then all of a sudden, from the moment they got going, all the mud started kicking up. And start hitting the windshields and the grills. Now, what do you think was going to happen? If they keep it running any longer, engines would have went out. And someone said, why don't you tear off, take the windshield off? It's like, yeah, that's not going to work because it's going to be the same result either way. <laughs> so they didn't, they didn't finish it until Monday. To which Martin Trex Jr. won. And then the NASCAR Cup Series dirt track race also followed suit afterwards. So hopefully for this year, with the new cars, I'm excited to see what those new cars can do on a dirt track. So if you got any predictions, comment down below. And I think that's that will be all it for this review right here. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment, and check out other NASCAR diecast reviews I put out. Also, I am a Circle B Diecast affiliate. If you use coupon code Kruger, which is down in the description below, as I always post it on, as I always put it in the description below, both the links. If you use coupon code Kruger at checkout on all orders, $20 or more, you get free shipping. And who doesn't like free shipping? So anyway, my name's Dustin, and I will see you guys in another video.